All right, so this is an important press release from the Department of Defense. From this, It's a statement from the Pentagon Press Secretary, Major General Patrick Ryder, on DOD support to Hurricane Helen or Helen uh, response efforts as of September 30th. Since Hurricane Helen made landfall on September 26th, the Department of Defense has been in close contact with local, state, and federal partners to support and coordinate Hurricane Helen response efforts. In North Carolina, where Hurricane Helen has brought about devastating damage from flooding U.S. National Guardsmen from Connecticut, Maryland, Pennsylvania, Iowa, Ohio, New York, South Carolina, and Florida have joined more than 700 North Carolina Guardsmen as a part of a multi-state, multi-agency effort to deliver relief to North Carolina communities. And throughout the broader Southeast region, U.S. National Guardsmen are equipping state and local response efforts with warehousing support, high water vehicles, law enforcement support, and search and route clearance, evacuation support. Florida is conducting emergency response dozens missions in dozens of counties with the support of nearly 3,500 guardsmen, hundreds of tactical vehicles and boats, and 11 rotary wing assets. Georgia has around 800 guardsmen activated in support of state and local governments. South Carolina has activated nearly 600 guardsmen and two helicopters in their recovery efforts. Tennessee has around 130 guardsmen and seven helicopters activated. Virginia has activated nearly 50 guardsmen along with one helicopter and numerous high water, high water vehicles. On the active duty side, U.S. Northern Command has deployed a joint enabling capability team to Nashville, Tennessee, and has sent a liaison and the federal to, to the Federal Search and Rescue Coordination Group in Orlando, Florida. Additionally, a federal team staging facility has been established at Maxwell Air, Air Force Base in Montgomery, Alabama, with additional incident staging bases at Marine Corps Logistics Base Albany, Georgia, Robbins Air Force Base, Georgia, and at Fort Campbell, Kentucky. A mission assignment support team is integrated with the National Response Coordination Center in Washington, D.C., and the Civil Air Patrol has been activated for disaster operations support, including damage assessment in North Carolina and South Carolina. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is providing emergency power planning and response teams to Georgia as well as dam, levee, and bridge inspection to Tennessee and Kentucky and temporary power to North Carolina. A team for command and control for high water vehicles and air operations support for air, for rotary wing aircraft has been established at Fort Liberty, North Carolina. Four rotary wing search and rescue aircraft and pararescue teams have been deployed to McGee, Tyson, Tennessee. As of Monday, eight Army helicopters and 10 Navy helicopters will be at Fort Liberty and 30 high water vehicles are staged at Fort Campbell. As the DoD continues to aid response efforts, Secretary Austin and department leaders will continue to be engaged and stay in close contact with federal, state, and local officials to ensure resources are available to maximum or to maximize a coordinated response. And in the days ahead, the department will continue to keep our fellow Americans who have been impacted by this storm's devastation in our thoughts. So currently, there's a ton of people getting organized to like react to this right now, and people are acting on this. This was as of yesterday, so. There are things being worked on and there are coordinations being taken and measures being taken to get this stuff done to at least provide temporary power to certain people. And in the meantime, there's tons of nonprofit agencies that are distributing water and food and other resources out in those areas that are affected in western North Carolina, eastern Tennessee, Virginia, Georgia, um, all that stuff. So in the meantime, just keep helping each other, keep looking out for each other, keep trying to do what you can to help your local communities, help your local law enforcement, your local emergency responders, your local hospitals, everybody. Everybody's got to work together. This is a team effort.